Nice to meet you. What's going on? Not much, you know. On a teal carpet. It's pretty cool. Yeah, right? How are you staying cool on this hot day? Um, I'm not. I'm not staying cool. I don't think anybody on this carpet right now has, has had a, a way to stay cool. It's very toasty out, but it's a fun day, so we're having a good time. It's summer. Yeah, it is definitely a fun day because at the end of this carpet, there's a party bus. And I want to know, what is your dream party bus? The Platter bus was pretty cool. I think if I had a dream bus, though, it would be like a Beatles-themed bus. I'm a big Beatles fan, so oh, it was just yeah. like a bunch of Beatles, just roadies and groupies, just people who, like, follow them around. That'd be cool, yeah. Would there be, like, video games in there it or music? Be the same. It, would, it would not be the same as the Platter bus, I guarantee you. I don't think there would be a... There might be Beatles rock band, but about that's about it. I don't, I don't know any other Beatles video games, but yeah. And what's coming up for you? Well, you know, the good thing about this is that it's going to premiere this week, uh, Phineas and Ferb Cross Second Dimension. And then we're, we're also doing a feature film that should be coming out in about 2013. So it's a long way away. Oh my but goodness. it's, yeah, it's going to be in theaters everywhere. So that'll be really cool for uh, everybody. And I just worked on a show called Love Bites on NBC. So that was my most recent TV stint in live action. Yeah. And what's unique about this movie versus the TV show? Well, obviously, when you work with two 11-minute segments versus a two-hour movie, you get the benefit of creating a much longer plot. And so that's that's the biggest difference I can say to people is that to watch this will be wa it, it, it'll be a completely different viewing experience for Phineas and Ferb fans. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was so nice meeting yeah, you. Have fun in there.